we've made it to Eureka. Eureka. What up, everybody? What up, what up? I'm Ruben. And I'm Lori. We are Life, Life After, After Kids, Kids Journey Unknown. A couple of free birds who decided to sell everything and live full time in a classy motorhome. In order to find a purpose beyond parenting, seek adventures, and reignite passions. So come along as we figure out this nomad lifestyle. And hopefully we can inspire you to, to feel, feel the, the free. free. Come on, Woo! Yeah. So don't forget to smack that subscribe button. Karate chop that notification bell to see when all our videos drop. Don't miss a thing. Don't. Because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Let's go. Buckle up, buttercup. It's one of the oldest surviving mining towns around. So let's go check it out. Look, we can get our stamp here. Oh, nice. Stamp here and here. All right, we got our stamp and we got a walking tour guide. Good map thing all right we just hit so, number 13 number 13 on the map the afterlife antiques and oddity shop this used to be a grocery store and a general mercantile store selling shoes gunpowder fuses and household goods and there was a hotel upstairs too built by solomon ashford the building also survived the 1880 fire and was a general store managed by Flora Morris and her son David until the early 1900s. Wow, this place was built for $38,000. We need those prices now. Wow, look at the doors. Oh, that's actual wood carved. Oh, This is one of the oldest buildings in Eureka, built in 1873. They're gonna turn it into some sort of wine and place. So it's coming too. Still standing after all this time. Behind us is the Jackson house. And I've heard that it was haunted, that people can still eat see and hear ghosts <laughs> Good. you can do caca together it's the lover seat we finished with our tour of eureka now it's on to italy let's go let's go when people wanted to go cross country, this is where they, they went. Crazy. So many people have passed through here. Kind of cool. Pony Express, baby. This is still not the loneliest road in America. Let me tell you. We have now gotten to Eli, Eli or, or Eli, Eli or not, Ellie or not really sure how it's pronounced, no. but it's a cute little town and it's a lot bigger than the other ones that we've been to. Uh -huh. So let's go check it out. Oh, how cute. How cute, look. Oh no, no, there's a black widow. I'm not doing it. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. What are you doing, love? My slipper's off and I had to feel the grass. It does feel good. Yeah. And it's better than feeling the dirt and rocks that we were just in. This, this is just nice. You know what this is? What? This is a Hallmark movie set. This looks just like one. How do I know? Because I watch them.
So this is what it was in the 1880s. And then the 1900s. Nineteen twenty, nineteen thirty, and then now. That's crazy. I love when history just comes to life right in front of your eyes. It's amazing. Casino, restaurant, and lounge right there, that building. Oh, we are in front of the famous hotel Nevada. Every time we try to shoot, especially if it's on a street corner, people stop because they think we're trying to cross the street. Super nice people. All right. Well, this concludes our Highway 50, the loneliest, loneliest road, road in, in America. America. We've seen naked people. We've seen abandoned mine towns. Wild donkeys. Hot springs natural hot, hot springs, springs. It's, it's been such a blast so would we do this trip again hell, hell yeah. yeah hopefully we have some friends with us so if oh, you want yeah. to come along you want to do a let's go baby highway 50 convoy if you're in comment well, below yeah because we are down ooh, ooh, ooh. until the next journey let's go you want to know what you can find in ely dirty underwear just kidding. But I found it here.